Hey, what's up, YouTube? EXO coming at you today, getting my girlfriend's electrical system ready for some bass and batteries. And there's no better way to do that than to start with the big three upgrade. So let's go ahead and explain each individual step and get on with the install. Let's go ahead and start by explaining where each individual wire is going to go. We're going to start here with the positive terminal on the battery. Run it down and around, nice and clean, to the positive post of the alternator. That's going to be the first connection, positive battery to the positive post of the alternator. The second connection is going to be on the ground here, on a spot where you pick to ground it to your frame. As you can see, I'll zoom in a little bit, we got our ground right there, where she can bolt down nice and secure. That's going to be the second connection. Then this uh, third connection, why they call it the big three upgrade, is from also this negative post to this bolt right here, which grounds your alternator through all this hardy metal through the engine. That is the big three upgrade. Then we'll be all set. We're putting a second battery up back and grounding it to the frame because everything will have a nice secure connection to it. And then we'll be all golden. We're gonna start the upgrade with this short ground here, which is gonna be connected right to the frame as close as you possibly can to the negative battery terminal itself. Remember, uh, the shorter the ground wire, the better. For stripping the zero gauge, believe it or not, I just use a utility blade, go around the whole thing and it pops right off real easy. Once she's stripped, go ahead and get your terminal ready. But I got a nice little trick I wanna share with you to get this big little chunk of wire in this little tiny hole if you ever have trouble with it. What I do is I take my three fingers like this, push it up, twist with my other three fingers, and then hold once more with those same three and put this on at an angle. Check this out. Mm, bam. No phrase, no nothing. That's how I do it. Okay, so this is where we might do things a little bit differently, depending on if you're soldering your connections or if you're hammer crimping like this. Uh, I have a closed face terminal right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and use no solder at all, and I'm gonna crimp them right here, right into the copper. So there she is, all nice and hammer crimped. You can tell that it's been pretty much impacted as much as it can go. And of course, I always put just a little bit of electrical tape on all my connections, even if I'm putting booties on them later, like little black booties or red booties, it doesn't matter. I still tape up my connections. Now that both sides of the wire have terminals, let's go ahead and install it. And just to make a note, I'm not removing the stock grounds, I'm just adding to them. So there's no removing of any parts. There we go. As you can see, she'll fit right nicely onto the post. Bam, baby, bam, bam. And the next wire we're gonna do is the second to longest one, the second ground from this post. On the alternator, bam, the negative post right there, all the way to the negative post right back down there. All right, our second ground wire is all taken care of. As you can see, she's ready for us to take that little alternator bolt off. Sorry I'm shaking so bad, but uh, yeah, we're gonna take this bolt off right there, and we're gonna be slam dunking in the trucking with the second ground wire all complete. I'm gonna go ahead and sand all the surfaces that the terminal's gonna be touching. So let's go ahead and put our ground wire on that started and crank her down and then we're gonna go ahead and fish her over nice and neat right over to the negative battery terminal okay so there it is all ran down nice and neatly here's where they came out they're gonna fit perfectly going right into the negative terminal slam dunk so now let's focus our attention onto the positive of the alternator for the power wire you're gonna want to determine where exactly you're splicing in six inches 12 inches as long as you're below like 18 you're all good but since we're mounting ours relatively close to the terminal itself, it's gonna be pretty good. This is where we're gonna be mounting it, hidden right underneath like that. So now this bolt should thread right in. Okay, the fuse block is all nice and tucked away, looking good, secure as hell. It is not going anywhere. So let's go ahead and remove the positive post from the alternator. Now that we have our nut removed, let's go ahead and take our zero gauge Stick it right on the terminal, tilting the stock one down just a little bit so this one can be nice and flat. Replace the nut, go ahead and tighten her back down. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take the wire from coming from the alternator, plug it in on the first post, and here's the other little piece to go from our fuse block to our battery. Now we're gonna go ahead and install a fuse according to our wire size, and since this is one aught power wire, we're just gonna use a Stinger 300 amp. There we go, she's nice and tight and secure. Gotta love it guys. Big three upgrade is now complete. Everything's all tucked away, looking nice. We got the positive post on the alternator coming down, tucked away, fused right there with a 300 amp, and then the positive terminal, all nice and secure. And then obviously we got the grounds right there. 
One ground going straight to the frame, one ground going to the alternator bracket right here, which grounds through the engine. All right, let's go ahead and test the voltage real quick. 14.86. Can't ask for anything better than that for a stock alternator. Once we get that Iraqi power in there, she'll be cranking out nice. So this is EXO signing out, just doing the big three upgrade. I hope that could have helped you guys a little bit in the process. So I'll see you guys in the next video when we install the NVX amp kit. All right, EXO, hi.